Well, the interesting thing I found for, of the discussion is that clearly um, the market is going for a consolidation of even higher ratings, uh, larger rotors, and therefore the gearbox who manages this all has to go for, yes, indeed higher torques, but also higher ratios. And it brings the gearboxes towards ratios of about 200, which to me is, uh, is putting the focus on the development of a turbine on the development of a gearbox, right? Gearbox and blades are in the center. So it's, and it's staying there, it's not going away. That's, that's one. The other, the other that I see is, yes, the, the high speed solution for the generator happens to come out of all of the, the, the innovations of products. It happens to come out of all of them time and again. Of course, the talk is getting higher, ratio demand is also getting higher. These two factors are putting then certain limitations, well not limitations, challenge to, uh, the, to the gearbox design. On the other hand, Poventas has well prepared on that uh, as we introduced the high torque density uh, exceed series already 20, 2014 being, being the number one in the industry of doing that. So we were talking about how cost reduction is affecting uh, the designs and also uh, the, the, um, the cost in the, uh, both CAPEX and OPEX and how it has to be aligned because then uh, uh, servicing uh, and OEMs are going to be worried about uh, servicing but then procurement is going to be about uh, cost so then you, we have to align that into the industry and then also how um, the industry is going for evolution and not revolution because uh, it's very difficult to take the risk to go to a uh, revolution. One intriguing question for me is what will happen in the future and uh, of course the future is always uncertain. At the moment uh, the onshore market is dominated by uh, mainly high speed and um, so there are uh, only, well Festos has recently introduced a new medium speed uh, solution for onshore called Inventus and also Mingyang in China is pursuing uh, medium speed but all the others are so far focusing on high speed. So, will it move quicker to, to uh, medium speed or will it just be perhaps only fastos for the years to come? Any of the, uh, of the future trends predicted in the past have been proven wrong, right? If, if I go back to 2000, seven, eight time frame, we were thinking, oh, perhaps a four megawatt land-based land machine? It's way beyond that now. And, and uh, I think the wisdom that was uh, called was there, there, there is no end to it. We will see. We will see how far we will, will get. I think a few years out is what we need to predict. There's nothing more to predict. Key takeaways of today's discussion. First of all, the importance of the technology roadmap. Uh, secondly, the co-creation need between OEM and the component manufacturer. And the third one, the levelized cost of electricity. It is still the key KPI of the market.